Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome back. My name is Pelly. Well, I seem to be making a habit of this, but it's been a while. How you guys doing? Hope everybody's well. For the uh, thousand or so few people who watch my vlogs, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your feedback in the comments. I really appreciate you watching and staying in tune with what I'm up to next. If you guys are not already following me on Twitter, feel free to do so. The link's in the description below. But listen, today's video, I just wanted to talk to you guys. I wanted to tell you what it was like to have a reading from a psychic medium. Back in June, it's my birthday. And four days before my birthday, we bought a house. We bought the house that we're currently in right now. The one that I'm currently in right now. <laughs> We bought the house that we're currently in right now. The one that I'm currently in right now, which, segue for a minute. If you guys do want to see a house vlog and see how I live and see the new place, drop a like on this video right now. Straight up, it's simple. I want to see, judging by the likes to dislike ratio of this video, whether or not people really care. Do you really give a hoot? Leave a like if you do. If you don't, let me know in the comment section why you could care less about my house. But anyway, back on track here without further ado, I am going to give you a full review on my thoughts, my feelings, whether or not I feel like it's legit or not. The psychic medium came in the house, she cleansed the entire house, she lit some sage, and while it was obviously smoking and lit, she walked around the house, blessed the home, said a bunch of things, and uh, then she came down and we did a full reading together. And overall, I don't really know how to feel about the reading. I would say it's about 50-50, split right down the middle. I'm not gonna take you through the entire reading or we'll be here for an hour and a half because it was basically an hour and a half long. But there were certain things that were questionable. I mean, if you've ever watched any of the medium shows online or on TV, you'd notice that those mediums always point out something like specific. Uh, anything from like, uh, you're wearing a piece of jewelry, uh, that piece of jewelry, where did it come from? And somebody's telling me that they used to wear it. Uh, a specific color, a smell, something that indicates to you that 110% uh, there's been a connection made with somebody in the afterlife. So. You know, I so badly want to believe in this stuff because there's people that I want to speak to who have passed away. And again, some of the stuff she said was pretty convincing, but then there was a lot of other stuff that I was just like, no, that, that, didn't, that didn't happen. That's not true. That's not how it works. So, I mean, overall, like, I'm still skeptical. Uh, I still have my, my doubts. I'm, it was very interesting. It was interesting to see some of the things that she was projecting for the future for my wife and I. It was interesting to see the things that she was trying to bring to light for me to connect with my grandmother and, oh yeah. It was uh, also really interesting just to be able to see the things that she was accurate on. Uh, I recommend it if you think it's something you want to do, whether you want to get a psychic reading or you want to connect with somebody uh, in the afterlife, if you believe in that stuff, try it. My wife and I are, are at a point where we're convinced to a point where we want to try it again. And we want to try it again, obviously, with a different individual just to see the comparative results. It's something that I think could bring you peace of mind, could bring you comfort, and uh, was sort of... I guess the way my wife put it was it was almost like a counseling session because once she dug deep enough and we started divulging more information, um, she started to talk about more things in life and things that have happened and things you can do moving forward to better your life and that kind of thing. But ultimately, I mean, it's all in the user, I think. It's all in whether or not you believe or you're willing to, uh, you're willing to believe what's going on is real and what's going on is projecting your future. Does that sound like something that's possible? Um, again, she nailed some things like right on the head, uh, things that I don't think she would have known, but nothing that came from the afterlife and that was my main thing. My main thing was I wanted to talk to uh, specifically my grandmother and I wanted to hear like pertinent details, something that was like nobody would ever know that. How the heck would she know that? So uh, anyway, that's my overall review on uh, my first reading ever with a psychic medium. It was fun, 
we enjoyed it and it was a, a late birthday gift from my wife because uh, literally four days before my birthday we bought this house so um, pretty exciting times in the life of Pelly getting back to work slacking on the videos but um, let me know what you guys think about this video let me know what your thoughts are do you guys believe in psychics do you believe in mediums do you believe somebody actually that's living can connect with the dead let me know what you think down below and um, hey if you're new to the channel why not subscribe it's free and hey you never know what's gonna come up next thanks a lot for watching everybody hope to see you guys in the next one and what I do in one take Wednesdays is uh, I pick a topic of conversation or I let you guys pick on Twitter and I just go off on the camera no editing uh, nothing just I just go I just talk and I talk to you guys show you guys a little bit